PC versus GX4000. 15 of the 26 titles released for the Amstrad GX4000 were ports of existing tape and disc CPC games. It is commonly said that these ports are identical to the CPC versions and therefore not worth the higher price tag and majorly contributed to the ultimate failure of the infamous British system. This series makes direct side-by-side -side comparisons as I discuss the differences of both versions and choose which one is better. Part 1 of this series looks at three of the most common games available. Batman the Movie, Barbarian 2 and Operation Thunderbolt. So okay, the first game we're going to look at is Batman the Movie. Uh, released in 1989 on the CPC and came to the GX4000 like many of the games did in 1990. Cover art, uh, as you can see, very very similar, just using the gold Batman logo from the movie. Ah, the title screen, well... And very, very improved on the GX4000 here. It's almost a 16-bit quality looking title screen. Lots of uh, plus palette features used there. Very, very nice. You can go back and pause that, by the way. I know it comes up quickly. So we're going to be looking at the audio. As you can see at the bottom there, the icon, the audio you'll be hearing will be from the CPC. And also, as you can see, the menu seems to have been reordered a little bit. Keyboard options still available on the GX4000. Kind of pointless. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the music is the same, the look is the same, there's no change there, and the logo is also the same. Into the game itself, and the first thing to notice is that that shatter effect there that you get on the CPC is entirely missing from the GX4000 version. I have no idea why this is missing. Maybe they use the memory up to create that lovely title screen, who knows? Uh, or it could be just a bug in the system, but it certainly takes a bit of polish off the game by having that shatter effect missing. Uh, the game itself is exactly the same in gameplay states. Movement, animation, frame rate, scrolling, no improvements on the Jigsaw 1000 version over the CPC, which is a bit of a pity. Well, it's not a bit of a pity, it's a lot of a pity, because it could have been done a lot better. Um, big difference in the colour palette used, as you can see, though. It's, uh, the Jigsaw 1000 using the plus palette there to change some of the colour definition. It adds a little bit more depth to the game. It's a little bit more deeper. Yeah, definitely a little more deeper. I mean, the C CPC version, as you can see, is very vivid. And very bold and quite brash, maybe too bright. It's dulled down a bit on the GX4000 version. It gives it a little bit more mood. I think the colour of Batman's suit is better. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still tied between w which one looks better. GX4000 version is, I suppose, the HUD on the GX4000 version certainly looks um, a little bit more smooth, a little bit slicker, they slick like Batman. But. Um, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very similar indeed. It's one of the sort of games that was accused of being just a dump port. It's got differences though, it has got differences. The slowdown on the music on the GX4000 is also a bit of a mystery. That doesn't appear to happen on the CPC. Okay, when the game gets busy, the music slows down, which is, again, a bit baffling. Maybe, again, to do with memory constraints. I am not sure. But uh, the end of the game is exactly the same. Uh, there's no flashy ending to it, no flashy graphics or logos at the end. Again, a bit of a pity. And the levels generally follow the same sort of dynamic with colour changes, but all play the same. So yes, very, very similar indeed. Right, now we move on to Barbarian 2, the Dungeon of Drax. And cover art changes here. Um, you've got Maria Ritika with Michael Van Vick on the uh, disc version and just Michael himself looking very hard on the GX4000 version. Going to be looking at the audio, or listening should we say, the audio on the GX4000 version. Title screen there on the CPC, missing off the GX. Very telling, very telling. Bit of a disappointment. Why is there no title screen on the GX? Don't know. Probably memory constraints again. Again, we have a uh, menu system that's reordered. Still a keyboard option on the GX. Again, utterly pointless. And here we go with the game. And, um, well, the phrase carbon copy generally springs instantly to mind. Um, yes, this is one of the three games on the GX which is sheerly identical to the CPC version. There is no change at all. And it's such, such a shame could have been done a lot lot better I'm gonna say that with nearly every one of these ports to be honest it's you see the, the, the CPC game is serviceable it's a nice game as it is it's not brilliant it's got the um, bits and pieces going on the nice animation very nice graphics anyway and it's you know a good dungeon crawler sort of maze 
hack and slasher. But there's no change at all. The GX is completely underused in this. There's no plus palettes. There's no scrolling. There is no rasters effects. There's nothing at all. It is literally a carbon copy and prime contender for being guilty of the um, people saying that they are just disc games dumped onto cart. Uh, luckily, we are going to come to a few that do use the GX4000 and do improve the CPC versions, but this is a prime example of one that isn't. And as a result, to be honest, the CPC version is probably better because it does have that title screen. Um, I, it's extremely irritating, and aside from anything else I've already mentioned, it is just utterly identical. There is no difference. That title screen on the CPC, for instance, like I say, why is it missing on the GX? I don't know. Why? I mean, I've read somewhere it was to do with memory constraints, but that doesn't seem to make any sense. Why? They, why? Why? You know? It, <laughs> hmm. And we even got, you know, Maria Whitaker was even taken off the cover art as well. I mean, that's just a crime. A crime. So as a result, the, you know, the CPC version is the winner over this. Oh, dear. But, um... It would have been better, to be honest, if they'd have taken the first game, Barbarian. Because yeah, that was the better game anyway. I'm going to cut this guy's head off. I'm going to try and cut this guy's head off. Are you looking at the GX4000 window there? I've got the Neanderthal killing me. I've got no other differences to talk about, so I'm just going to talk about... Oh, yes, got his head! At least you've still got that. You've still got that. It's Like I say, it's the same game. Could have been done a lot better. I mean, the, the sprite smoothing could have been used, certainly... Hardware sprites could have been used. Bit of a roster effect on the, you know, split screen roster effect on the title there at the top and at the bottom. Many things I could suggest about this that uh, would have improved it. And also the baffling control system is still there, still in place. So, uh, so there we go. Barbarian to the Dungeon of Drax. Uh, just exactly, exactly the same. And it's, it's annoying because this is a game that was released in 88 on the CPC. So there was two years gap. So could have been improved. Right, so finally we're going to look at Operation Thunderbolt. Oh yes. Uh, <laughs> some hate people hate it and some people hate it less. Operation Thunderbolt, uh, the sequel to Operation Wolf. Originally released in 1989 on the CPC and uh, on the GX4000, obviously in 1999. Again, we had the title screen on the CPC and no title screen on the GX4000. Bit of a shame. Well, I keep saying that, don't I? But there is a nice sort of raster interrupt effect on the title screen of the GX. Very nice smoothing of the ocean and Taito logos there. Completely redesigned from the blocky sort of kind of shapeless look at the of the CPC menu menu there. And uh, this is another game that gets accused of being pretty much identical, and in a lot of ways it is. But there are some differences. Um, a bit like Batman, it's got lots of colour differences, as we can see. I mean, colour differences are very, very obvious, especially that HUD. Uh, that is a much better looking design. Other, you know, on the CPC it's a black background, very plain, very basic. And uh, got a nice little blue little metal effect thing going on on the GX. Uh, certainly more detailed, so that's good. It's definitely a, an improvement. And uh, the graphics themselves, hmm, well, colour palette, it has changed. I mean, the horrible, horrible red road uh, on the Amstrad CPC is just uh, not, not, not nice. So it has improved the fact that it's a nice grey road on the GX. Um, and the same goes for the buildings, and the same goes for maybe the colours on the, the soldiers on the CPC. Extremely vivid and bright, uh, which is what you come to expect from the CPC. A um, little bit more, um, again, flattened out, a little bit smoother on the GX, and the colour palette is balanced and more. Certainly you does use the plus palette. No split screen is used, though. It could have been used. It would have been made things a little bit more um, interesting. Um, the, the problem is uh, the obvious elephant in the room, in the room, in the groom, <laughs> elephant in the room, is the scrolling. <sighs> this forward scrolling is utterly abysmal on both versions. There is no improvement at all, no changes, and that is annoying. 
because that is the, what is the game breaker of this. That that scrolling is just absolutely terrible. And you couple with that with the fact that this game is just not balanced. I've talked about this before in this game. This is not balanced. It's too, too difficult. There's too much stuff going on. And it just... There's no slowdown, thankfully. Uh, at least that doesn't happen. There's no changes to the sound effects either. The music is the same on the title screen. Yeah, uh, again, the title screen on the, on the CPC. Why is it not there on the GX? I suppose maybe the raster effect they've used on the menu screen is taking the memory from that. I would guess so. Apart from that, the game plays exactly the same. It's just as lackluster and average and pretty poor, which is crap, really. It's, it's, not, it's not a crap game. That's a bit unfair. But it's it could have been a lot better. I mean, I always imagine what Operation Wolf would have been like on the GX4000 if they'd have done it right. So, you know, that scrolling, yeah, ruins it. But it has differences. There are differences between the two. So, now you know, everyone, there is a little bit of an effort shown here. So, and it is just a little bit. Uh, GX4000 version wins because it's just slightly improved. There we go. Operation Thunderbolt.